The Middle East Media Research Institute is a not-for-profit press monitoring and analysis organization with headquarters in Washington, D.C. MEMRI publishes and distributes free English-language translations of Arabic, Persian, Urdu, Pashto, and Turkish media reports. The institute was co-founded in 1998 by Yigal Kalman, a former Israeli military intelligence officer and mayor of Wormser, an Israeli-born American political scientist. MEMRI states that its goal is to bridge the language gap between the Middle East and the West. Critics charge that it aims to portray the Arab and Muslim world in a negative light through the production and dissemination of inaccurate translations and by selectively translating views of extremists while de-emphasizing or ignoring mainstream opinions. Staff Based in Washington, D.C. with branch offices in Jerusalem, Berlin, London, Rome, Shanghai, Baghdad, and Tokyo. MEMRI was founded in 1998 by Yigal Kalman and Meriv Wormser. Wormser, who later left MEMRI in 2001, is an Israeli-born American scholar of the Arab world. She is also a senior fellow at the U.S. think tank, the Hudson Institute, who participated in a study that led to the report, A Clean Break, A New Strategy for Securing the Realm, a paper prepared for Likud party leader and then incoming Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. MEMRI's founding staff of seven included three who had formerly served in military intelligence in the Israeli Defense Forces. MEMRI president and founder Yigal Kalman states that MEMRI's current staff includes people of the Jewish, Christian and Muslim faiths who hold a range of political views. Yigal Kalman, MEMRI's founder and president. Kalman is fluent in Arabic. He served as colonel in the Military Intelligence Directorate from 1968 to 1988. He was acting head of civil administration in the West Bank and the advisor on Arab affairs to the civil administration from 1977 to 1982. He advised Prime Minister Shamir and Rabin on countering Palestinian militants from 1988 to 1993. In 1991 and 1992 Kaman was a senior member of the Israeli delegation at peace negotiations with Syria in Madrid and Washington. Alberto M. Fernandez, Vice President of MEMRI since June 2015. Ambassador Fernandez is a fluent Arabic speaker and was a career foreign service officer with the U.S. Department of State from 1983 to 2015, serving mostly in the Middle East and Africa. Stephen Stalinsky, Executive Director of MEMRI. Stalinsky holds a M.A. in Middle Eastern Studies and a B.A. in Religious Studies. Stalinsky writes articles on the Middle East for National Review and the New York Sun. Nimrod Raffaella, senior analyst and editor of MEMRI's economic blog, an Iraqi-born U.S. citizen, Raffaella has a Ph.D. in development planning from the University of Michigan. Menahim Milson, Board of Advisors Chairman. Milson has been a professor of Arabic literature at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem since 1963, and is currently the head of its Arabic Hebrew Dictionary Project. In November 1981, Milson was the first head of the civil administration that Israel imposed on the occupied territories to replace the purely military administration that had been there since 1967. Tafail Ahmad, South Asia Studies Project Director, a British journalist of Indian origin, Ahmad studied social systems for an MA at New Delhi's Jawaharlal Nehru University and received an MA in war studies from King's College London. Mansour al-HADJ, Director of MEMRI's Reform in the Arab and Muslim World Project, a Saudi Arabian journalist. Mirza A. B. Baig, Senior Analyst at MEMRI South Asia Studies Project. He is an Indian researcher who studied at the Jamia Millia Islamia for two master's degrees and obtained an MPHIL in comparative literature and a PhD from the Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. 
The AMI MRI Board of Directors is made up of Oliver, Buck, Revel, Robert R. Riley, Jeffrey Kaufman, Reed Morden, Steve Emerson and Michael Muckers A. MEMRI's Board of Advisors includes Ehud Barak, Jose Maria Aznar, Norman Poderetz, Ellie Wiesel, John Bolton, Nathan Sharansky, Hassan Chorfumi, Faraj Sakoe, Mort Zuckerman, Khalil Mohammed, Jen, Michael V, Hayden, Carla Fuar Alam, Bernard Lewis, William Bennett, and Speckhard, Chin Ho Lee, John Ashcroft, Jana Hybarskova, and Magdi Kalil. Objectives and Projects MEMRI's original mission statement read, In its research, the Institute puts emphasis on the continuing relevance of Zionism to the Jewish people and to the State of Israel in September 2001. MEMRI replaced it with the current mission statement, which states that the organization explores the Middle East through the region's media. MEMRI bridges the language gap which exists between the West and the Middle East, providing timely translations of Arabic, Persian, Turkish, and Urdu Pashto media, as well as original analysis of political, ideological, intellectual, social, cultural, and religious trends in the Middle East. MEMRI's goals and emphasis have evolved over the years. It originally translated articles in both Arabic and Hebrew. Concerning this change in their mission statement, Political Research Associates, which studies the U.S. political right, notes that it occurred three weeks after the September 11 attacks, and considers MEMRI was previously more forthcoming about its political orientation in its self-description and in staff profiles on its website. PRA considers that MEMRI slogan, bridging the language gap between the Middle East and the West, does not convey the Institute's stridently pro-Israel and anti-Arab political bias. It further notes, that MEMRI's founders, Wormser and Kahneman, are both hardline pro-Israel ideologues aligned with Israel's Likud party. Kahneman, in a public letter to Wang Kohl that included a threat with a lawsuit over his comments on memory, stated that he has never been affiliated with Likud. Cole answered that he hadn't alleged that, but that memory would campaign for Likud goals such as the rejection of the Oslo peace process. The organization indirectly gained public prominence as a source of news and analysis about the Muslim world. Following the September 11 attacks and the subsequent war on terrorism by the Bush administration, according to MEMRI, its translations and reports are distributed to congresspersons, congressional staff, policymakers, journalists, academics, and interested parties. According to PRA, MEMRI's translated articles and its commentary are routinely cited in national media outlets in the United States, including the New York Times, the Washington Post, and Los Angeles Times. While analyses by MEMRI staff and officers are frequently published by right-wing and neoconservative media outlets such as National Review, Fox News, Commentary, and the Weekly Standard. PRA writes that both critics and supporters of MEMRI note its increasing influence in shaping perceptions of the Middle East. It has maintained long-standing relations with law enforcement agencies. In 2012, Haaretz reported that Israeli intelligence agencies have reduced their monitoring the Palestinian media with MEMRI and Palestinian Media Watch Now, providing the Israeli government with coverage of anti-Israel incitement in social media, blogs and other online sources. The Prime Minister's Bureau has stated that before the government cites information provided by the two sources, the source of the material and its credibility is confirmed. The Tom Lantos Archives is a joint project between the Lantos Foundation for Human Rights and Justice and MEMRI. An August 22, 2011 announcement that the Department of State's Office of International Religious Freedom in the Bureau of Democracy, 
Human Rights and Labor had awarded a $200,000 grant to MEMRI to conduct a project that documents anti-Semitism, Holocaust denial and Holocaust glorification in the Middle East, noted that, through translations and research, MEMRI aims to inform and educate journalists, government leaders, academia, and the general public about trends in anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial in the Middle East and South Asia, thus generating awareness and response to these issues. The project holds an annual event on Capitol Hill. The MEMRI reform project covers social, political, religious, and economic reform, ranging from women's rights and education to democratization of the Muslim world. Translated reform project video clips and reports have been used in mainstream media. The Cyber and Jihad Lab, launched in 2015, monitors, tracks, translates and researches Cyber Jihad originating from the Middle East, Iran, South Asia, and North and West Africa. MEMRI President Yigal Khan and Executive Director Steve Stalinsky describe terrorist use of U.S. Social media is a growing threat to national security languages. MEMRI monitors primary sources in Arabic, Persian, Turkish, Urdu, Pashto media and other material from the Middle East, Asia, North Africa, and Arab and Muslim communities in the West. These include newspaper articles, sermons, speeches and interviews, websites, TV broadcasts, and school books. MEMRI provides translations and analyses into English, French, German, Hebrew, Italian, Spanish, Polish, Russian, Chinese, Japanese. Financial support. MEMRI is registered in the U.S. with the IRS as a 501 non-profit organization. They have a policy of not accepting money from governments, relying instead on around 250 private donors including other organizations and foundations. Media Transparency, an organization that monitors the financial ties of conservative think tanks to conservative foundations in the United States, reported that for the years 1999 to 2004, MEMRI received $100,000 from the Lyndon Harry Bradley Foundation, Inc., $100,000 from the Randolph Foundation, and $5,000 from the John M. Olin Foundation. MEMRI's U.S. income statement of June 2004 stated that its total U.S. Revenue was $2,571,899. Its total U.S. functional expenses were $2,254,990, and that it possessed net assets of $700,784. Charity Navigator, an organization that evaluates the financial health of America's largest charities, has given MEMRI a four-star rating, meaning that it exceeds industry standards and outperforms most charities in its cause when rated on its financial health. In August 2011, the United States Department of State's Office of International Religious Freedom in the Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, awarded MEMRI a $200,000 grant.